Have you always had something to do with large dog breeds? You'll be blown away by their variety. Some were bred to fight invaders and serve as better guard dogs, while others were bred to hunt large animals and live in harsh environments. In this video, we'll be talking about the 11 biggest dogs in the world. But first, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to get notified whenever a new video is uploaded. Regardless of how intimidating some of these giant dog breeds may appear, they are often kind, trustworthy, confident, and mild-tempered creatures. This distinguishes them as exceptional pets. Big dogs, when properly socialized and exercised, can get along with all of your other pets, children, and family members. However, if you have no prior experience with dogs, their size and instincts to guard or hunt might be challenging to manage. So, even though there's no clear rule concerning enormous dog species, they are all quite large puppies. Now let's get into it. Starting our list is number 11, St. Bernard. Many people are curious about the origins of the St. Bernard's moniker, commonly attributed to their heavenly temperaments. But did you know a Swiss monastery bred them? No, we didn't think so. They were ideal for guarding the sacred area because of their great size, typically between 28 and 30 inches. However, it was quickly recognized that they were excellent search and rescue dogs in the Swiss Alps, and that their friendly face and soft eyes made them a welcoming sight for lost travelers. They're still utilized in search and rescue activities worldwide, and their loving and docile demeanor has made them one of the most popular large dog breeds. Number 10. Tosa Inu the Tosa Inu is a giant Japanese military dog created by crossing Japanese and European breeds such as Mastiffs, Bull Terriers, St. Bernards, and Great Danes. Tosa Inus are sometimes referred to as Japanese Mastiffs or Canine Sumo Wrestlers. The height of this uncommon dog at the Willow can reach 32 inches, and its weight ranges from 130 to 200 pounds among non-Japanese breeders. Dogs of this breed are often smaller and lighter in Japan. Tose and use have cute faces thanks to their wrinkled foreheads and sorrowful brown eyes. But keep in mind that they were developed expressly for fighting. They are pretty solid and robust, and fortunately they do not attack humans unnecessarily. Tosa Inus are friendly and kind with children, yet they will guard them at all means. If you decide to get a dog of this breed, make sure you are prepared to devote a significant amount of time and effort to training and socializing it, but not to the point of being overly strict since it can make the dog unpredictable and dangerous in the home. They are easy to groom and have a life expectancy of 10 to 12 years, longer than some other gigantic breeds. Number 9. Leon Burger The Leon Burger is crossed between a St. Bernard, Newfoundland, and Pyrenean Mountain Dogs. As you may expect, the size of these canines is imposing. Despite being developed as companion dogs, they make amazing rescue, herding, and swimming dogs. Males are typically 29 and a half inches tall, or females are generally 27 and a half inches tall. These canines weigh between 140 and 150 pounds. Leon Burgers have a characteristic coat that is smooth, water resistant, and they are rather muscular dogs. This breed is intelligent, trustworthy, friendly, and playful, making it ideal for family pets. You'll be ready to deal with all that grooming and cleaning if you add a Leon Burger to your household. Unfortunately, they have a relatively short lifespan of approximately 7 years. However, a dog of this kind will bring pure delight and love to your entire family during its brief existence. It will draw a lot of attention when you go for a walk, so be prepared to be accosted by strangers who want to pet it and take pictures with it. Number 8. Great Dane The Great Dane is commonly recognized as THE giant dog breed, and while it's not the largest, weighing 100 to 120 pounds, it's unquestionably one of the largest. They were bred in Germany as a cross between Irish wolfhounds and English mastiffs. These enormous canines are kind to the people they know as well as other dogs and animals and are incredibly wonderful with youngsters. They are, after all, the Guardian's pets and they should not be treated lightly. Great Danes come in various hues, the most striking of which are the black and white Harlequin varieties. The usual height of the Great Dane is 28 to 30 inches, however, it can be taller. In truth, a dog from this breed named 
game, Zoo still retains the record for the tallest living dog at a height of 44 inches. These gentle giants are graceful, noble-looking creatures who require a lot of care, training, and affection. They are nonetheless charming individuals who will reciprocate all of your love and dedication. Unfortunately, Great Danes, like other giant dogs, have a short lifespan of 6 to 8 years, while some canines may live up to be 10 years old or beyond. Zeus, the god of the sky, died in 2014 at the age of 5. Number 7. The Irish Wolfhound the Irish Wolfhound is another of the giant dog breeds. The unusual height of this breed is at least 34 inches. However, it rarely weighs more than 120 pounds for males and 105 pounds for females. The breed was developed for wolf hunting and defense. The first reports of this breed date back to 7000 BC. Although Irish Wolfhounds have a variety of personalities, they are frequently entirely independent and have their peculiarities. At the same time, they are not recognized for being aggressive or acting rashly. Irish Wolfhounds are popular family dogs nowadays and are known for being calm, uncomplicated, intelligent, and quiet. They have no territorial aggression issues with other dogs, but because of their hunting experience, they prefer to target other dogs. Irish Wolfhounds are typically friendly and easy to train with males, but they are loners who have been raised to hunt alone and away from their owners. Number 6. Scottish Deerhound One of the world's oldest hunting breeds is the Scottish Deerhound. It was bred in Scotland for chasing and hunting red deer. With its long, big boned legs and hound-like build, this muscular and massive dog can readily approach its prey due to its incredible speed. These canines are exceptionally tall, standing at 32 inches tall and weighing 110 pounds for the males. Scottish Deerhounds have the appearance of greyhounds, although they are more like coats. Their lengthy tails dangle to the ground and their noses may be black or blue. The skin can be colored in various ways with harsher and winter coats on the legs and body and softer coats on the head, belly, and chest. A fascinating fact is that the species was nearly extinct at one point in history when only aristocrats with high titles were permitted to own one. Fortunately, the breed was successfully reintroduced in the 18th and 19th centuries. This wonderful breed of dog is extremely loyal, gentle, loving, and affectionate, as well as being highly attached to their family and welcoming to others. Number 5. Neapolitan Mastiff The Neapolitan Mastiff is not as large as the English Mastiff, but it is still a large and well-known canine breed. It has a 130 to 155 pound weight ratio. For males who weigh up to 140 pounds, for the ladies, the typical height of a male Neapolitan Mastiff is 26 to 31 inches. Their distinctive facial wrinkles as well as their body folds make them instantly identifiable. Neapolitan Mastiffs are brilliant dogs, fiercely protective of their family and home, making them excellent guard dogs. However, if they're not properly socialized and trained, they can cause problems. Because they appear to be calm and prefer to spy on potential intruders rather than barking, they are not as effective as alarms. The Roman Molossus dog was the ancestor of the Neapolitan Mastiff. Dogs of this breed today require individual attention and love and should not be left outside alone as this might develop into destructive behavior. They can get by with just one long walk every day and yet be happy. These canines are not appropriate for rookie dog owners since they require substantial socializing and training. They are generally affectionate and quiet creatures that make excellent pets for households with adult children. Number 4. English Mastiff the English Mastiff is another big dog on our list, stealing the second spot. The heaviest dog of this giant breed, Zorba, weighed in at 343 pounds. The average Mastiff will stand 27 to 30 inches tall at the shoulder and weigh 130 to 220 pounds. So if you're seeking the giant dog breed in terms of mass, the English Mastiff is the clear winner. As a result, it is critical to be taught as a working dog for blood sports such as baiting bulls, bears, and even lions due to the animal's size and weight. When Caesar conquered Britain in the Roman Empire, he was reportedly so pleased by the Mastiff that he brought back a few puppies to employ in lion and gladiator battles. However, the magnificent Big Mastiff is primarily used as a pet and friend for a loving and caring family. Dogs of this breed are frequently used as therapy dogs as well as for search and rescue, weight pulling, and tracking. It has a calm, friendly, and even-tempered demeanor, making it ideal for families with children who like playing with their enormous pets. It needs to be among its people because long periods of seclusion can lead to harmful behavior and distress. 
If you want to be happy with your entire family, you'll need daily walks and a lot of preparation and attention. Number 3. Common Door You may have seen this eye-catching, mop-like huge dog before. The common door was invented in Hungary to safeguard property and domestic animals. In its native country, the breed has been designated as a national treasure. This breed can never be mistaken for another due to its unusual long and mop-like corded hair. This intriguing giant breed can grow to be 31.5 inches tall and weigh up to 130 pounds. Even though they are lovely and tranquil inside, they are not well suited to apartment living. However, it is natural for these dogs to protect and roam outdoors, particularly at night. You can get one with a large backyard with a fence. Remember that they bark a lot and, if not properly socialized and conditioned, can somewhat be uneasy about strangers. Aside from that, Commodores love dogs devoted to all family members and are especially cautious around children and family pets. The Commodore, like many other large guide dogs, is not recommended for persons who have never had a dog before. It requires a lot of thorough training and socialization, as well as frequent daily exercise and staying out of problems with human neighbors and animals if you want it to stay healthy. Number 2. Newfoundland Unlike many other Maine dog breeds, Newfoundland was bred to be a working fisherman's dog, not a guard dog. Massive, adorable dogs were used to assist fishermen on boats as they could carry lines and networks as well as leap into the sea to help humans or retrieve anything that had fallen off the ship. The Newfoundland is a large, active water dog that can carry up to 200 pounds. Without it, our list would have been incomplete. The Newfies are, without a doubt, among the best canine swimmers. In reality, they are still utilized in search and rescue missions on the water. These dogs are usually black, but they also can be gray or brown. They are brilliant and calm-natured dogs. They appear larger than they are due to their thick double fur, designed to keep them safe and warm even in frigid water. Newfoundlands have a strong bond with their families and are gentle and empathetic with youngsters, earning them the nickname Gentle Giants or Dog Nannies. They require regular walks, exercise, and practice, and it's essential to provide a place where they may swim on occasion to keep them safe and healthy. Number 1. Caucasian Shepherd Dog Finally, this dog was bred for the first time in Northern Caucasus as a guarding dog. It has a maximum shoulder weight of 30 inches and a maximum weight of 130 pounds. And that's it, except a lap dog. When there's a threat, it's a tough, bold, and self-assured dog with robust bones and sturdy build. If not, it's a kind and gentle dog who gets along with everyone in the family, including other pets. For decades, Caucasian Shepherds have been utilized to protect property, livestock, and other duties from predators, including bears. Today, they are primarily used as watchdogs or pets. There are numerous varieties of this breed. Two of the most prevalent are the mountain type, a long coat, and the step type, which has a reduced body mass and a short jacket. Because of its essence of constantly feeling the impulse to protect its family, the Caucasian Shepherd Dog is not a breed for first-time dog owners. To keep the dog from attacking other people because it defends you requires extensive training and socializing. We have made it to the end of this video, so what do you think? Which one of these giant dog breeds is your favorite and why? Please share with us in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Oh, and turn on post notifications. Now, if you'll excuse me, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.